Hello my friends, I'm Harry from Harry's Gameplay channel on YouTube and I'm going to continue to play Days Gone. It's a Ben Studio production. This will be the 81st episode and I'm streaming live from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Welcome to my stream. Thank you. Uh, the weather here in Philadelphia right now, the temperature is uh, 82 degrees Fahrenheit. It's mostly cloudy. I hope you guys are feeling well. I'm feeling wonderful. Make sure you guys take care of yourselves and please do me a favor. Take care of the elderly. Take care of those who took care of you. Thank you so much. Now I'm going to walk you through the steps that I have to take every time that I do uh, uh, a live stream. Please give me a minute or two. And I explain you what I go through the process. Okay, we're going to go to channel content and click on the title of the stream, which is uh, Days Gone. Bad Studio Production, this will be the 81st episode. Uh, in the description box, we're going to um, add some information about the game so that way the viewers know what the game is about. Okay. And then we're going to scroll down. And then go on the playlist. This playlist will be Days Gone, Event Studio Production. Click Done. And we'll scroll down to the tag area. Make sure the tags you put on the tag information box are pertaining to the game, which is Days Gone. And then the console will be PlayStation 5. Language is English. The recording is today, which is the 29th. And stream location will be Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. And then on the stream category will be gaming. Then we enter the name of the game, which is Days Gone. It's a 2019 release date. And then we're going to save. And then we're going to go back to channel content. And we're going to click on the live control room. Well, we can see other information as uh, chats and who's watching and so on. Uh, hello, Anthony. How you doing, my friend? Welcome. Thank you for the like. Give me a minute. I'm going to enter some information on the chat for you guys. Thank you. How are you doing today, Anthony? You good? Good morning to you too, Anthony. Thank you. Swaggy Shaggy, how you doing, my friend? Good morning. How are you today? Okay, we're ready to play. Thank you for joining me, Anthony and Swaggy Shaggy. Thank you so much. We're going to click continue. It's 9.51 a.m. here in Philadelphia. The temperature is 82 degrees Fahrenheit, and it's mostly cloudy. Uh, I know a lot of my friends are starting school today. Okay, you're doing great. That's good, uh, Swaggy Shaggy. Very good to hear that you're doing good. All right, so... Um, I want to press quick save. Okay. One eye gamer, welcome, my friend. 
So I'm starting right now. Everything else is going fine. I uh, played GTA last night, Cyberpunk middle of the day, and in the morning I played Days Gone like always. One for Yosa. Hello, my friend. How you doing? Welcome. Okay, so we're gonna go to. Um, we're gonna check the map for a minute. Let's see what we need to find here. We need one intel. We need one intel. So we're going to be doing Anthony YT. Yes, I got the tank. <clears throat> Excuse me. I, I purchased the tank yesterday again. Uh, I don't think that the first time when I purchased it, I don't think the transaction went through. But I got the tank yesterday. Watch yesterday's episode, which was episode 81, Days Gone, Ben Studio Production. And you're going to see <clears throat> that the, um, the thumbnail on the video is the tank in action. So please check out that, uh, that episode. It was a real good episode yesterday. I had a lot of fun playing for you guys. I had a lot of friends from, uh, from I had a lot of help from friends like uh, Juan Fonoyosa um, and um, some other friends that also uh, helped me uh, through the gameplay. Okay, Anthony says, I play GTA 5 too. Awesome, it's an awesome game. All right, so I got to find one intel, one intel information in order to complete this county. So I'm going to have to search for caves. I need to find some caves. Because I believe that's where the, uh-oh, we got some wolves coming already. Oh, they ran off when they saw that I know you. Oh, you're running away now, huh? Gotta sneak up on me. Where they at? Where they at? Hiding. Yes. Okay, I see one. There we go. Got that one. Brandon, the game, and good morning, my friend. Welcome. Thank you for joining me and our friends that are watching. Well, the shotgun is for close distance only. So sometimes when I do fire, I miss. But it scares them away. They're very sneaky. You see that? Very, very sneaky. There's one more. One more. He's trying to catch me off guard. Here he comes. There he is. Okay, there's one more. Okay, he's right over there. I'm surprised his back is turned. What's going on? There he is. I was kind of odd. It was like he was stuck. That was odd. We're gonna collect the meat. Yeah, so like I was saying, I need to find, I need to look for caves. Because I believe that the information that I need it's in a cave. So, let me see what happens. Let me see, let me look at the map once again. I wanna make sure I remember where I'm at because I don't wanna look in the same area over and over again. Thank you, thank you so much, Anthony. 
what we have up here. Well, some of the caves are off the road, so you got to go off the road to find. Make sure I check this corner first. I don't think there's anything on this side. Well, this Friday coming up is the release date of The Last of Us. So that would be cool. Guys, you can put your channel's name on the chat so the other friends can subscribe to your channel. You can gain some subscribers today. That's okay with me. something up here uh, good morning MXT uh, thank you for joining us thank you thank you good to see you too okay here we have a lookout tower here this is from the Rippers it looks like uh, they have some supplies here we're gonna take it Let's see what else we need to craft just to make room. Okay, looks like we pretty much have everything, really. Let's do some band-aids. And then we need to focus. Well, we have, we have plenty of bottles. Brandon the gamer says, I've been playing games since I was 10 or 11, and he's 35 years old now. Very good, buddy. They keep you, I don't know, they keep you sane. It's, it's, the games now are definitely way better than the games back in the day. So it's always like a new experience. <laughs> Brandon says, who knows, I might be 90 years old. <laughs> In gaming, yeah. I'm probably going to do the same. <laughs> it relaxes me, you know. There's other things you could be, you know. Worst things you could be doing, you know. So, more power to you, my friend. I play PS5. This is on PS5. I don't have I don't have the PS. Uh, what is the network? I don't have that yet. Later on, when I learn how to play online, I will get the subscription for that or the membership. But for now, I don't have none of that. Finally. Bojan Sebo, welcome my friend. Thank you for joining us. Hope you had a good day. Good morning. Hope you guys have plenty of sleep. I had about five hours of sleep. I'm a little bit tired right now. My daughter started school today. So I took her to school this morning. And I said, well, let me go stream for my friends on YouTube. So here I am. See what we find here. We have some parts. We, uh, we got that. We are going to take the parts again. More scrap metal. We're going to take that because we need that to fix our motorcycle in case we crash. And we're also going to take the fuel. We're going to fuel up the bike. You can never have enough fuel, so whenever you find it, use it. 
just hold the circle until the tank is full Good. and then release. Check that little shed. I didn't check that. There might be something in there. Can you use this? Yeah, she she's very excited. She's going to the fifth grade, so. Thank you, thank you. What do we have here? see this like this you can't climb up there I've tried but there's nothing up there so we got too much of that mm, something back here Can. That's a plant. We used to plant for medicine. Let's check this house here, see what we find in here. See, there was a, a nest in here too. It's a couple of dead mercenaries. We have alcohol. Uh, let me see something here. Yeah, we can craft nice an attractor. Wow. Bloody. That's a bloody scene. In the bathroom, there's nothing there we can use. The kitchen, okay, we got some cans. Nice. Now we can craft some more attractors. Nice. We're gonna pick up this igniter. Uh, what else, what else, what else, what else, what else? What else? Yeah, I need to find one more part, one more item. Uh, sorry, not my problem. Good morning. Welcome back. Good morning. Thank you for joining us. Brandon says, my days of school was, uh, I would rather stay home and play video games. But that belt from the parents will say otherwise. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And right away, you see the belt. <laughs> you go to school. <laughs> Definitely. All right, let's get on our merry way. I just came from that side, right? I think I'm gonna continue searching for more caves. So I'm gonna go back up here. I'm gonna check the boundaries.
usually if you see this rock face on the right, that's the boundaries of the map. That means that the map ends there. Okay, we have, you know, check up here already. Let's climb up and check. Okay. Come on, come on, give it to me, give it to me. Give it to me, what I say, give it to me right away, just give it to me. Give it to me. Wow, it goes higher, look at this. Okay, we have a little camp up here, someone was camping. They have a grenade and some other supplies, we're taking that. Nice. Very nice. All right, we're going to fix our melee weapon. That will make room for other items. So health care, we are to the max. Wow, look at this spot right here. They got a nice spot. A nice spot for camping, right? The only thing is right at the edge of the rock, I would be scared. If I roll over at night in, in, the, in the tent, I'll fall over. <laughs> That would that wouldn't be safe right there. What if they sleep right here on the on the ground with a sleeping bag. <laughs> but yeah, you see how you find little secret spots around the map. You just gotta look. Right now, I'm looking for caves. Let's see if I can find that last piece that I need. To have this county completed at 100%. I believe it's at 97% right now. Let me double check. Mm, yeah, 97. All I need is one Nero Intel. So I believe that's in a cave. It has to be. The others that I found have been in caves. The other Intel pieces. Okay, that takes us to uh, the Ripper, the Ripper area. We don't want to go there yet. We're going to continue searching on this side. But once we go past that point, it becomes a different county. Yeah, it becomes a different county. So that's also Ripper territory. We want to make sure we stay on this side. I hear gunfire. It's a big fight here. And it's two different groups. It's the Rippers and the Militia. You see them? The Rippers are the bow headed ones. See, they fight each other. See that? The Rippers are the bow headed ones. They're the ones that I just told you I don't want to go into that territory yet. It's a cult. And they're very crazy. They're crazy, crazy, crazy. They set themselves on fire. They cut themselves. They shave their head. He is free. Hello, Hasib. Welcome, my friend. Hello, Steezy. Thank you for joining us, guys. Thank you. I'm hiding in the grass, so I'm hoping they don't see me. I'm going to let them destroy each other, and then I'm going to take care of the rest. <laughs> Good morning, guys. Thank you for joining us, Hasib and Steezy. Thank you. Okay, I saw a couple of them run up there. I don't see them now. But you see the rippers? They're the ball-headed ones. I saw someone. The lost. I'm going to walk this way. Walk this way. Walk this way. Walk this way. Okay, there was a couple of them that ran up here, but I guess they went back down when I was talking. Here is some mountain sorrel. It's a plant. You can use it in salads. Here's one of their bikes. I want to sabotage it so they can't use it. If they try to get away, it's not going to work.
and we're going to get our shotgun, a double barrel. Hey, Boneless, how you doing, my friend? Uh, this is PS5. I saw the last. Nice. Anybody else? Okay, clear. Let's go a further, a little bit further in, because you never know. So yeah, the Rippers love fire. Uh, they cut themselves. They shave their heads. Uh, if they, if they, uh, they even set themselves on fire, and they try to give you a hug, which has happened to me the first time that it happened, it freaked me out, and I'm like, what? They were like, you know, they set themselves on fire and then they run after you and grab you. Therefore, you know, you catch on fire too. Okay, we have one of those Alex rocks up here. When you see these, say kick rock and knock them down. Uh, to earn a trophy with that, you have to find 12. I found many more than that so far. Yeah. But that's one of the things you have to accomplish in the game. You have to find 12 of those uh, little piles of rock and kick them over. And you get a trophy. But there's about, I think, like 80 of them, I think there is, in the total game. So there's plenty of them. You're bound to find them. Just look around when you do play the game. Okay, we're just going to pick up their supplies. And they have three more cycles here. Okay, we're going to sabotage this one so no one else can use it. Oh, I see another motorcycle. So they have four motorcycles. And, uh, let's see. Yeah, this one. Sabotage this one. Also. Nice. That one, no one else can use it. I think I did this one already. Uh, yes, and it's this one right here. You see, as you can see, the bikes are red. Uh, that's because they're covered in blood. That's not spray paint. Oh, look, another one. So they have a total of five motorcycles. I did that one. And let's see, two, three, four. Okay, so it's a total of four, though. They're all done. Let's do a little bit. I'm going to search a little bit more just in case. See how they're bullheaded? All of them are bullheaded. They're called the Rippers. And they will rip you apart. Here's the alarm clock. They use blood for everything, man. It's like a blood ritual. They cover themselves in blood. They cover the motorcycle in blood. They write on the rocks in blood. Their flags that they put up is also written with blood. So they are a sick cult. Because this was for one of their snipers to sit up here and watch the road. Okay, what is the Oh, I don't need the gun. Parts. Parts, parts, parts. Where is my bike? I think my left my bike is pretty far away. Look, this is where they do the rituals. You see this? Candles. And usually you see this this little this stone right here, which is like a little mesa, like a table. Mesa means table. That's where they usually do the sacrifices. They'll place a person there and they'll sacrifice them. Cut them up. They're evil. Okay, uh, Habib says, appeal to overseas Pakistanis uh, and donor for helping people affected by flood in Pakistan. That is very good information. Thank you, my friend. Now, let's see if we have any... 
Yes. Fix this. That should do it. We can fix the bike. Now we can go back and get those scrap parts that we need that we saw. They were around here somewhere. Here they are. We can't pick up the kerosene because we have enough. I need more supplies. Nice. Rag, I have too much, too many rags. Very nice. All right, so we're gonna continue. We're going to continue. Let's go. There's something that I track. What am I tracking? I'm not tracking anything, but it's showing that I need to go somewhere on the map. You see how it says 716, 13? What is that? I'm not tracking anything in the map. But it's showing me that I need to be at 713. Where can that be? Where did it go? I want to follow those numbers. I want to see what it takes me to. Uh, we have to beware of any water. Cookies, big boy. All right, we're going to continue. He knocked me right off the bike. Let's save. Let's get on it and let's follow these numbers. Continue going this way. Follow the 500 or the 400. Hello, Van. How you doing, my friend? Well, be careful with the water. Okay, so we have another ripper camp here. Oh, this was, um, yeah, I took this back already. I want to see what set those numbers. Wait, 
two fourteen. So he brought me here. Hasid, he says, hi, Harry, need your support by your channel. Effective floods in Pakistan. Okay, I, oh, man. Oh, no. Jeffrey, what's up, my friend? Hasib, I see you. Did you put your message there? That's pretty cool. Leave it there. If people want to donate, they'll donate, okay? Uh, but don't keep putting the same message over and over again because they'll see it, okay? Yeah, you already have put it like, let me see. Excano, welcome, my friend. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, Hasib. Yeah, leave it there on the channel. People will see it. If they want to donate, they can donate, okay? But I see you already put in one, two, three, four. Yeah, four times. Thank you, buddy. That's, we appreciate that. Those who want to help will help, okay? Nice. Sorry to hear about that. Affected by floods in Pakistan. Donations for helping people. Very good. Psycho, how you doing, my friend? Welcome, welcome. search around here because he brought me all the way down here what else is was that it this game is called days gone he's a bounty hunter and this world is infected and people turn into zombies so the um, the gameplay is to destroy all the zombies collect information that will help the scientists to come up with a cure for the infected. But um, after they did this research and work and work and work, they weren't able to achieve their goal because the zombies were so many that they got destroyed by the zombies. So all the effort they put, it was for nothing. The zombies won. Okay, there's something here. Oh, I see. Great gamers, what's up, my friend? Welcome. Light them up, light them up, light them up. Burn, sweet burn. Burn, baby, burn. Okay, what else do we have around here? What else? That's it? So he brought me all the way down here for that. Uh, so yeah, this game basically there's there's like five different camps that are friendly camps. People are uh, basically um, 
it's like a fort. They have forts, and they're protected by weapons uh, to try to keep themselves safe from the mercenaries, from the zombies, and from some of the creatures that are infected, like the bears, the wolves are infected, and even the birds. And there's a couple of groups. This group called the Rippers. They're a bad group. So they they are hunting down human humankind so they could take over the world. What is that over there? Oh, this is that's the fence thing. I can't go in there. At least I don't think so. Uh, Bonelis asked me what are my favorite, favorite three top games. Wow. Um, that's a hard decision to make. Because all the games on my channel, they're all my favorites. That's the reason I play them. But yeah, that's a hard decision. To say I like this one more than the other and so on. Before I, I buy a game, I do research to make sure I'm going to like the game. But I can tell you one thing, my favorite games is third person view. Third person view. There's uh, three games that I play that are first person view. Uh, and that is the Rainbow Six Extraction, uh, Cyberpunk 2077. And Five Nights at Freddy's. Those are the only three games that I play that are first person. Light them up, light them up, light them up. They eat their own kind. And they are um, they can't see that well. So they rely on the sense of smell and sound. So when you fire a gun, they'll come running towards the sound. Okay, I already searched that area, so we're gonna continue. We have Emiliano Gonzalez. Help, bro. Hello, bro. Good morning. My first video, bro. Felicidades, bro. Siempre estaré apoyándote, brother. Y buenos videos, bro. Y good morning. Thank you so much for your support, um, uh, Emiliano Gonzalez. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah, we have friends from all over the world. So please, you know, you can chat with each other. If you have a channel, you can put your channel's name down so the other friends can subscribe to your channel. Wow, he just blows them apart. Look at that. That's his arm. She lost her hand. Oh, we got more coming. We got to reload. Got ammo left. Okay, we carry ammo in our in our saddlebag. We have one more supply. So soon, I'm gonna have to go to the camp and buy more one of the friendly camps now when you when you destroy the zombies you collect their ears and their ears you sell them and you make money and with that money you make you buy ammo you fix your motorcycle 
See the motorcycle? It wasn't like that. It cost about 200000 to get it fixed up. Well, I see quite a few around here. So I'm going to group them together. I'm going to let them chase me. I want to group them. There's more down here, you see? I'm going to wait for them. There's more. Let's wait for them. Here they come. And I'm going to use an attractor. They like to hear sound. So when they hear the sound, they'll start to investigate what it is. And that gives you the opportunity to destroy them. Let's use a pipe bomb. And that's how it's done. So that's how the game is played. There's a lot of weapons that you gather while you play. When you start, with, you only start with one little gun. A 9mm gun that only has 10 bullets. And as you play the game, you get better weapons. You buy the weapons uh, by selling the ears from the zombies. You use that money to fix your bike, to buy ammunition, to buy weapons. So the object of the game is to destroy the zombies. And help gather information to try to come up with a cure to help them, but it doesn't work out. Because they destroy the scientists. They, the zombies went into the camps and they destroyed, they killed the, the, the scientists. So there's five different camps that are, are taking people in that you can go in and they'll protect you uh, as long as you work. But there's militia groups, there's other rippers, there's mercenaries that are, that are the enemy. And obviously the zombies, and also the animals that are infected. And some of the animals that are not infected, like the wolves, they will also attack you. You collect the meat from the wolf, collect the meat from bears, collect the meat from cougar, collect the meat from crows, collect plants and vegetables, and you can also sell them at the camps uh, for money. So, it's pretty cool. And there's different zombies. There's, there's, there's reachers, there's screamers, there's runners, there's freakers, there's um, 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 breakers. There's, um, there's about six or seven different categories of zombies. And they all individually make their own uh, specific, specific sound. Um, and uh, they're different shapes. Um, and like the, the strongest one is the breaker. He's big, he's huge, he's like on steroids. And he's very tough, very tough to take down unless you sneak up on him from the back and knife him, stab him one time. And then the second strongest one is um, Amphastus, is the Reacher. He's the one with the white hair. See, you always listen. This game doesn't have any music because you have to rely on your... On your on your hearing because they will sneak up on you not only the the creatures but the um the zombies so that's why this game don't have any sound any music if you have music playing then you can hear your surroundings you have to be aware of your surroundings the wolf sneak up on you the cougar sneaks up on you, and the zombies sneak up on you. They hide in the tall grass like this, 
And you, I could be right here. There could be a wolf hiding right there, and I don't see it. But you have to listen very closely. You can hear them um, uh, snarl, or they roar, the lion, the bear. Oh, there's also bears, big bears, huge bears. There's bears that are not infected. You can collect their meat. And there's bears that are infected. You cannot collect that meat. Okay, we're not going to go to that side yet. I'm looking for more caves. I'm just following the, the rock edge because that's where usually the caves are at. When you see the giant rocks. Now while you're searching, you're going to be running into all kind of creatures. Make sure you have plenty of ammo. And supplies. And always search the area for supplies. And some of, sometimes these dead bodies might be having, they may have surprise supplies. So, as you can see down there, look, we have see one, two, three, four, five. I see five. Now, there's a plant here that I'm going to collect. This is the arrowhead. See, they rely on the smell. Look, he's sniffing. You see him sniffing? He sniffs me out. Now, the other ones are going to get down. They're trying to locate the sound. Let me get my MG-55. That way they'll come towards me. See, they hear the sound. You see how they come running? They rely on sound and smell. And that's how it's done. It's a very good game, and it's long. This is my 80 foot. Bad guy, bad guy, bad guy. I got him. That's one of the rippers. They're the enemy. Occasionally you'll run into them, so you gotta take them down as quickly as possible. See how they cut themselves? Look at the body. See all the scars? They cut themselves. And they have rituals. A very a very bad cult. Look, there's another one over there. I believe that's Rachel. I gave them names. The, the females are the only ones we hear. The only male we hear is um, Howard. The, um, I call him Howard after Howard Stern. <laughs> okay, we're going to pick this up, bike up and we're going to sabotage it. No, we, don't, we're not, we could ride it if we want to, but my bike is way better than that. We're messing it up so no one else can use it. Now we're going to walk this way just to pick up the ears. We just walk over them. So we had a nice group right there. Look, he pulled out his gun to try to shoot me, but I got him first. There's his gun. He wasn't able to do anything. Okay, so we're going to go back to our motorbike, and we're going to press triangle. Hold it for a second, so we can save whatever we just did. Now, it's becoming foggy. When it's foggy like this, it's a little bit more difficult to see. I see one, two, three, four. Okay, they already sense me. They smell me. They're going to come my way. Here they come.
Now, sometimes the, the biggest herd, there's a couple of hordes. Well, not a couple. There's about six of them. There are huge hordes. There's about a thousand of these zombies in caves. Then sawmill in Sherman camp in Shemol. Those are places that the uh, zombies occupy and there's thousands of them. They hear the sound of gunfire and they come running. They're hungry. They're very hungry. Okay, this gun is out of ammo. Also have my little sawed off shotgun. Charlie Cesar, how you doing my friend? Welcome. Michael Shire, Psycho, Emiliano, Boneless, Jeffrey. Uh, Hasim, thank you so much. Anthony. Oh, here's Sally. This is Sally. She's a screamer. She screams and they all come running. Now, sometimes she might call fire with them. And sometimes she might call a hundred of them. So be ready. Okay, I'm gonna go to my motorcycle and get my last supply. Sand Scope, how you doing, my friend? Welcome. Okay, Sally's over there. Uh, okay. Uh, great gamers, I'm doing fine. Thank you for asking, my friend. Thank you. Jeffrey um, Hasey, he's trying to collect some money. Well, you guys can donate money to the Pakistan donor. Apparently, they were affected by floods. So you can look it up on the Internet and maybe make a donation if you can. Now, Sally left. And you can also make a donation on my channel. You just click one of the stickers, and you can um, make a dollar donation. I would truly appreciate it. Okay, let's see what else here. Uh, Samscope says, hey, Harry. How you doing, my friend? I'm doing well. Charlie says, hey, Harry. Good to see you. Good to see you, too, Charlie. Thank you for joining us, for, uh, my friend. And Charlie says, when did you get a... You hear that sound? That is Sally. When did you get a PS5? There she goes, screaming again. She's calling him again. And here they come. I don't want to kill Sally. I let Sally be. That's why I named her Sally B. We could track her. We could put a tracker on him, on her. That way we know everywhere she goes. Um, Charlie asked me, when did you get a PS5? Well, about three, three weeks ago, I would say, two weeks ago. My son, yeah, about two weeks ago, my son gave it to me as a gift with about a half a dozen games. I was saving money to buy one. When he found out I was trying to get one, he, he brought me his. He had one that he hasn't used for a long time. He's very busy, so he gifted it to me. His wife and him decided to give it to me as a gift, and it's a brand new unit, uh, along with about six or seven different games. So, yeah, I've been playing on PS5 for a while now. Thank you, thank you so much, Sam Scope. He says, keep up the good work. We'll celebrate your 100,000 subs. Oh, that would be awesome, my friend, thank you. Now, this is Sally. She will keep calling them. As long as she, there's some around the area, she'll call them. And like I tell you, sometimes she'll call. She'll call 100. Sometimes she'll call five at a time. So you just gotta be ready. If you see the map on the bottom corner, on the right side, if you see that map, the whole map turn red, get ready. Right now, it's just showing me that she's there. You see the red area? 
It also shows you where they're coming from. So they're coming from behind her. You see that? Now, you can also use other methods to kill them other than the gun. I want to put down an attractor bomb. It'll ignite after five seconds. Let's try it again. They were too close, so I didn't want to take the chance. Let's try that again. There it is. No. Yeah, so you have to be very... So, yeah, be very, very careful. Okay, I just noticed something. I never done that before. If you put an attractor bomb in the water, it doesn't work. I put two down and it did not work. Yeah, I just found that out, guys, so remember that. Yeah, because I, I had, no, I have five of them, so I put three down, and none of them work. I have five uh, distraction attractor bombs. Andrew Dio, how you doing, my friend? Welcome, welcome. Uh, Josimar, Manuel, thank you so much. Okay, we got some coming up. I usually shoot them one time so they could come my way. I don't have to go all the way up there and get them. They're coming, they're coming. From the all sides, guys, so here we go. I have to be aware right here. See how the map is lit up on all the way in the bottom, the east, the south? So there's more than five coming at me. So I gotta go to a dry area because I don't wanna put this down on water. Let me see how many are there. Oh, not that many. Yeah, it's not that many. I thought it would be more than that. Okay, that one is working because it's not in the water. They rely, they listen to sounds, so when you put that attractor down, it makes the sound of gunfire. You hear it? Then you just throw a gas bomb. You can also throw a, a pipe bomb. Wow, you see the water? That was pretty cool. You see how the water blew up right in the air? This is my melee weapon. Let's repair it. Let's craft some more pipe bombs. Now we can also craft, if I have enough supplies, you gotta pick up supplies. You got enough of those. Okay, we could craft molotovs, which is the gas in a bottle. It's actually kerosene. Nice. Also, we're gonna craft some band-aids and patch them up. Okay, so we're good. So let's go back to the motorbike and save by pressing triangle. Every time you achieve something, Make sure that you do a quick save. Because if you happen to lose everything that you have gained, you lose it. Now let's go to Sally again. 
She's still standing around, so that means it's, there might be more. Now, Sally, I do not kill her because she does not come towards me. So she just stands. If you um, um, invade her private space, she will call them. It's a close one. Okay, let's reload. I'm using the weapon is called a crowd breaker. It's a double barrel semi-automatic shotgun. It's here. It holds 20 shells. It's a very it's called a crowd breaker. It's for close encounters. If you try to shoot someone from a distance, you won't do it. You have to be within probably maybe six to eight feet away. So Sally's still hanging around. She's just on the opposite side. So I'm going to go see if she calls them again because I make money. I see one in the distance over there. I'm going to shoot him once so he can come this way. Oh, I killed him. Kill that one too. This machine gun is very powerful. It's the, the, the best weapon, the strongest weapon in the game. It's the MG55. Trey So Real, what's up, buddy? How you doing? Welcome. Thank you for joining us. Uh oh, this is the Reacher. He's the fastest and also strong. You have to be careful with him. Okay, we got a lot of a lot of them joining now, so I have to be careful here. Okay, I want to try to I want to try to group them all together. There's more, a couple of them here. Now, keep in mind, guys, I've been chased by a thousand of them. So when I see twenty. Or 30, it doesn't scare me anymore. When I started playing the game, I was really scared. Because they do scare you. There's not that many. I want more and more. And where, where the rest go? Oh, okay, it's down here. This is the Reacher. He stay behind. Wait for them. I want the Reacher to be involved too. All right, now we're gonna set them up with an attractor. Now we're gonna hit them. I'm gonna hit them with a Molotov, one of the big one napalm. Reacher's hiding over there. You see him? Here he comes. I'm gonna get my big gun, my strongest gun, and we're gonna take him out. You'll be there when that turns red. When it's red now. So when it's red, you know he's dead. We'll blow it up again. As you can see, how many, how much ammo this gun carries? Two hundred and seventy-four. Busy flap. What's up, my friend? Thank you for joining us, buddy. Thank you. We have sent Bendal. Welcome, my friend. Welcome. Appreciate it. Thank you. Okay, we're going to continue. Let me check here real quick. Make sure it's not a cave. Sometimes there's caves. And the shadow might hide them. So make sure you check. 
Simply Isa, welcome back, my friend. How are you today? So these are all the zombies so far that have gone down that she has called. We collect their ears, we sell them, we make money, we buy ammo, we buy parts for the motorcycle. Uh, you also sell the food. Here's Sally again. She likes to hum. She likes to run. She's 29 years old. She, she likes to go out to dinner. There's only one problem. Every time she goes out to dinner with someone, she ends up eating them. <laughs> uh, one can third I say because it is stuck. Because it is stuck. What is stuck? One was stuck. I don't know. I don't know what he meant by that. Okay, let's see if she hums. Let's follow her so we could hear her humming. Don't let her see us. Yeah, so the female characters are only with the one we're here. There's Vicky, there's Rachel, and there's Sally. But Vicky and Rachel are vicious. Sally does not attack you, but if you get close to her and invade her personal space, she'll slash you up and have you for lunch. <laughs> Uh-oh. I want to let her see me so you see guys what happens. See? When she sees you, she'll call the zombies to come and attack you. She's called probably over 50 already, maybe more. But sometimes she calls them and they all come running, 100, 200, who knows how many. I don't actually count each one individually, but I know it's a lot of them. See, she'll keep calling. But I always look at the map. When she calls them, I look at the map. I know where they're coming from and how many, I have an idea how many are coming. It was tough. You seen that? I hit him once, and then he tried to slash at me, and I had to hit him again. Sally, come out to play. And they spawn. You see how they spawn right behind her? They just spawn. It's not like they're hiding. They're standing around waiting for her to call them. They spawn. When she calls them, they spawn. He's getting out. Woo. Sally, Sally. You see, as long as we see that red diamond, we know where she's at. Okay, she's eating something. Thank <laughs> you. 
I knew it. I knew I heard something else. These are the wolves. And it's a wolf pack. Sometimes three, sometimes six. You can collect the meat and sell it. You gotta keep an eye on the map. If you see the map turning red into some other area, that means they're coming from another direction. Okay, she's eating. guys Sally's running away. She's gone. She's gone. She's gone. I gotta learn how to live. She's gone. She's gone. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna let her be. That's why I call her Sally B. Because I let her be. That's the only zombie I don't destroy. All the other ones? <laughs> Kapui. <laughs> Alright, so let's find our motorbike. Oh, there she comes again. I think she went to use the restroom. She went behind a rock. As long as she doesn't see me, she won't call them. But you know her scream is so powerful that if you ride by and she sees you and she screams, it will knock you right off your bike and cause damage to your bike. See, my bike right now is at 100%. Fuel, we have 67%. So we're doing pretty good. Okay, we're going to continue. Guys, remember, I don't know if you guys know, but my, my chat has restrictions on bad language. So if you want your messages to be seen, try not to use bad language or, or real scary words because it, your message won't show up. Because I have a lot of uh, subscribers that are children, that are kids, and I don't want um, anyone using foul language in front of kids because it's not appropriate. I don't use foul language. I don't like anyone to use foul language about around me, and I don't condone it. So please, you know, watch your language. Whatever you write on the chat, if it's negative, it won't show up. So if you want your chat message to be shown, you need to. Oh, she called it again. I'll uh, try to use appropriate, appropriate language. Yeah, you know, use words like destroy, put it down. Don't use the word K-I-L-L. -L. Don't use that word. It won't show up. Use the word destroy, put down. That's why I said if she keeps bring, put them, I'm bringing them out, if she keep calling them, I want to keep putting them down. He calls them, I put them down. Corey Fred, good morning, my friend. Welcome, welcome back. Thank you so much for joining us. Let me see if I can get out of here. Oh, man, see how she knocked me right off the bike? When I was going to get on it, her scream is so powerful. That's how powerful it is.
Sound like a pig, right? Like a pig. Okay, it says uh, Westlife. Every Pidu says, "Why don't you put her down?" Also, because she calls the zombies, and every time I put down the zombies, I pick up their ears, and then I sell the ears and make money. So it's a way of making money. I don't have to run around and find the zombies. She calls them to me. I'm going to put them down right there. Instead of hunting them all over the place, she calls them towards me. I put them down, collect all their ears, go to the camp, sell the ears, use the money to buy supplies, buy guns, or buy um, 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 parts for the motorcycle. Remember that. So she's actually helping you or helping me. And she does not attack me. The ones that attack me are the ones she's calling. So uh, all the other creatures in this game attack you. The only, the only two um, that don't attack you are the deer, which I don't put down, and Sally. I don't put her down either. But the deer is the most valuable meat in this game. So if you take deer meat, to the camps, they pay you top dollar, but I don't do that to the deer. If I happen to find deer dead somewhere because the zombies killed it or the wolf killed it, then I'll pick up the meat. Otherwise, I let them be. And if I see the zombies hunting the deer, look, Sally ran away. See? So we're going to continue on our way. If I see the bears or the wolves or the zombies trying to take the deer down, I'll go after them and put them down before they put the deer because they're beautiful. You're so beautiful to me. All right, we searched that already. So we're going to keep going this way. Everybody has their own strategy in how to play the game. That's how I play my game, you know? It's like when I play GTA, we have three characters we can play as, right? We have Trevor, I mean Trevor, who's sometimes good and sometimes he's bad, right? We have Michael the same. Michael used to be a mafioso. He used to be in the mafia, okay? Now he calmed down, he retired. But Michael also has his bad sides. Now, Franklin, the same. He has his good side, and he also has the bad side. So all these characters, you could play them as, as good, or you can play them as bad, or you can play them both. Sometimes they do good deeds, but then sometimes they do bad things. So if you ask me, I mean, Trevor? Uh-oh, uh-oh, we got to stay away from water. He cannot swim. And we don't want to lose our bike. Um, when I play GTA, that's that's how I play it. Sometimes Franklin could be driving by on his motorcycle in his car, and there's someone yelling, "Hello, help, 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 help!" They just stole my wallet or my purse. Uh, Franklin will go after them and retrieve that purse or their phones to that person. That's his good side. But then he also has his bad side when they're ready to do a bank robbery because Lester has set it up. He'll go do the bank robbery, so that's his bad side. The same thing with all of them. Michael has done good deeds, and he's done also bad things. Trevor, the same thing. Trevor could be going somewhere in his truck, and someone's yelling, help me, help me, help me. He just stole my bicycle, or he just stole my car. He'll go after them and retrieve whatever they took from that person, bring it back and give it to that person. So they, they say yin and yang. Yin and yang means good and evil. I don't know if you've seen the, 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 the Japanese or Chinese sign as yin and yang. Good, yin and yang means good and evil. Bad, you know, the good and the bad. So yeah, there's different ways to play a character in each game. I don't know if you guys ever played The Last of Us Part. That's the deer. Look how beautiful they are. See them? That's a buck right there. He got big horns. You see them? They don't attack me. They run away. So why should I go after them? Leave them alone. 
Okay, this is the Nero camp here. This is where we can get our ammunition. Uh, we can change our weapons. We could uh, take a nap. You see the deer running around? They're not running towards us to bite us or destroy us. They're running around because they were trying to get away from me because they hear the sound of the motorcycle. So normally when I see them run in an area, I know something is chasing it, so I go after whatever is chasing them. So look, we have three bucks and a dough. Got it? <laughs> Three bucks, because they have horns. See them? And we have a little doe. Okay, now they're going by. And they don't attack you at all. It's not like they're going to hit you with the antlers or anything. They don't. They just run away. See them? They're beautiful. All right, I don't want to go that way. I want to continue searching this area. It's a big area. As you can see, we have a huge lake there. There has to be a bridge somewhere where we can cross over. Yeah, I was talking about The Last of Us. I don't know if you guys are familiar with the game The Last of Us. There's Sally in the water, another Sally. And it's flashing on that side, so it's telling her us that she's there. Uh, in the game The Last of Us, Ellie has some good sides and she has her bad sides. The same thing with Abby and Joe. All those characters. Remember, where there's good, there's also evil. They go hand in hand. They go hand in hand, guys. Well, the airplane's up there. You see the airplane? That's the airplane that crashed. Okay, we, we've done this area. We were passing it here earlier. That's why we destroy all those. Everything you see on the ground. We just did. Bunch of murderers and bankers. Okay, we have the Rippers. Just soon the Rippers. Just look at you. This is the Ripper, guys. This is the cult. Let's see if one of them comes out and sets themselves on fire. And they're always high, by the way. They're high all the time. They're high. They use drugs, too. Okay, we got three, four coming, five. There's five over there. I gotta be careful. I wanna see, I would like for one of them to set themselves on fire so you guys can see it. So I'm gonna give them some time. I'm not gonna attack them right away. We're getting too close. Okay, we have one more in the back. Ducky Mucky, hello. Um, don't use foul languages. If you if you want your message to be shown, don't use foul language. I don't permit it on this channel because we have a lot of kids watching, and it's not proper to speak like that in front of kids. I don't allow it, and I don't condone it. So if you want your message to be seen, you need to use proper language. Okay, Ducky Mucky? Thank you, my friend. Okay, we're gonna go after this one. I see you. It's a female. We have more back here. Oh, this is a prisoner. It's a prisoner. So we're gonna let him be. They were probably ready to sacrifice him. See all the blood? All the people that are down. So it was about six of them, so.
We're gonna pick up. It's a friend. Arrowhead. Gucky, yeah, remember that, buddy. I know you're a good friend. But yeah, we have children watching this, you know? My channel has children from all over the world. So we have to set up the right example. Not to use foul language. It's not it's not nice. I mean when you're with your friends and you guys are joking around in private, that's up to you guys, you know. Yeah, uh, um, RD2, uh, yeah, I want to play that sometime, much later, in maybe in, in, in the future. I have other games that I still haven't played yet, and I want to play. Uh, next Friday coming up, I'm going to be playing The Last of Us, uh, the remake part one. That's this Friday coming up. So... Make sure you guys tune in, have your uh, notifications, all of the notifications turned on, so that way you guys don't miss the gameplay. It's going to be awesome. They did a lot of changes to it. Since the technology now is much advanced, and when it, the game came out in 2013, now they decided to fear... Fear the rising. Wow. Yeah, so they decided to um, rebuild it, remaster it, remake, because the technology is so advanced now, it's going to be awesome. I can't wait. Uh, it's coming off. Uh, the release date is on the 2nd of September, which is this Friday coming up. Uh, I should be playing it on that day because I made arrangements. Uh, but, yeah, make sure you guys tune in and check it out from the beginning to the end. Now, I don't know what time slide I'm going to have it on. I don't know if I'm going to have it in the morning or midday or evening. Okay? Uh, this game right here that I'm playing is almost done. And also, um, Cyberpunk, which I play in the middle of the day, and GTA. So, you guys... Uh, make sure that you watch it because um, you get to see it from the beginning of the gameplay when I get it, which will be an unboxing, a, pre a premiere, until the end when I complete it. Okay, okay, Ro Roy Stan. Hello, Roy Stan. Welcome, welcome. Then we have Len Webb's Life. Thank you so much for joining us, Curry, Juan, uh, Simply. Blizzy, Scent, Trey So Real, Charlie Sees All, Andrew Dio, Josimar Manuel, uh, Sam Scope, I mentioned Psycho, Marco Schreier, or Cherie, we have Vaughn, uh, Emilio Gonzalez, Jeffrey Hasley, Great Gamers, Hasiv, Anthony, very good guys, Excano, thank you so much, Steezy, thank you so much guys, thank you, I appreciate it, sorry, not my problem, great name, Brandon D. Gamer, uh, Bojan Sebo, we have Juan Fornoyosa, very good friend. One Eye Gamer. Welcome back, guys. Swaggy Shaggy. A very good name. So, yeah, guys, you know, um, keep, keep in mind that um, if you don't have all the notifications on when I stream, you won't get a notifications and you'll miss the, the live stream. So, make sure you um, have them on, all on, so you won't miss... Uh, any gameplay action. Christian Petrovic, thank you so much for going and joining us. Gaming Fossil, thank you so much. All right, I'm going to continue playing. Thank you. And I will be playing this today until 12 o'clock. So I got about another 34 minutes. If you guys want to use one of the stickers and make a donation of a dollar, that will truly be appreciated. Thank you so much, okay? 
Uh, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe, smash the like button, and make sure your notifications are all on. All. It has to say all notifications on. Thank you so much, my friends. Thank you so much for the like and for watching. So let's continue to see what we find on this side of the of the county. Whoa! Whoa, he tackled me down. He tackled me, guys. We also have a, a cougar. He's stalking us. You see how he stalks? I wanna see if he killed the I wanna see if he could kill that zombie for me. I wanna lure him to the zombie. I'm gonna put him between me and, and, and the zombie between me and the cougar. No, he's not going for it. Wow. I forgot to reload. Nice. Yeah, I tried to get the, the, the lion or the cougar, I should say, to attack. The zombie, but no, it didn't work this time. But it, I have not, I have done it before. Okay, um, let me see. My saddlebag is empty. I don't have any extra supplies, so I'm gonna head back to one of the camps. But since I already completed the main story, and I'm gonna show you the map, I'm gonna show the map. When you start the game, this this map that we're looking at right now is all in different areas. You see red, 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 triangles, red triangles, red triangles everywhere. And that'll tell you where the um, hordes are located at or where the problems are at that you need to go and and basically clean house. So when you start the game, you're not allowed to fast travel. But once you complete areas, uh, let's say from this point to that point, in between that point and this point, there's no hordes or there's no zombies, you could travel fast. But there's if there's any hordes in between, you cannot travel fast. Since I already completed everything, kill all the hordes, the big ones, there's still some zombies scattered around that I need to continue to take down or destroy. So now I'm, al I'm allowed to fast travel, which means that I don't have to ride the motorcycle there. So in this case, I need ammunition, I need some supplies. So I'm gonna see where Deacon's at, or, or Deacon. Okay, if you, if you press R3, it'll take you to where he's at, Deacon, right? So now I'm going to look for a spot that's nearby where I can go and get some supplies. We have hot springs, so we're going to go hot springs. That place is really expensive, too. But I'm going to go there and get some supplies by pressing square. It says fast travel. It says hot springs, okay? So far, I have earned from them $25,000 from doing jobs for them. And I achieved uh, um, trust level three. This is the highest trust level that you can get. You start with uh, zero trust, then you get level one, level two, and level three. How you achieve those levels? By doing jobs for them, by um, brief selling food to them like meat, and um, also um, um, vegetables, and also herbs. So when you start selling to them, they start giving you a trust level because you're helping them out. They also farm their own um, vegetables and fruits. But if you want to be in that camp, it says, what was, Hot Springs, what was once a beautiful resort and spa, the Hot Springs encampment is it's a forced labor camp 
run by Ada Tucker, a forced labor camp. That means if you want to stay in that camp, you have to work. You can't just lay around and do nothing. So if you want to eat, you got to work. You understand? So that that I don't like that camp as much as the others. But uh, since it's nearby, I'm going to go there. But I don't necessarily have to go there. I can go anywhere because, you know what I'm saying? But I continue to work in this county, so that's why I don't want to leave this county. I want to continue to search in that county. You can zoom in. And we're going to fast travel there. Press X. Guys, give me a minute. I'll be right back. I'm going to use the restroom. Uh, Westlife says, Peter says, did you manage to get PS5? Yes, my son gave me PS5 like uh, two weeks ago. He gave me PS5, and he also gave me about six or seven different games. Give me a minute, guys. I'll be right back. Let me go inside the camps where I'm safe. It's a safe camp. See, they already know him. Okay, let me use, I'm gonna use the restroom. Give me a minute, guys, please. Thank you so much, my friends, for waiting. Okay, let's continue. So we're going to uh, buy some supplies here. We're going to sell the bounty that we carry, uh, all the ears, all the animal meat, all the plants, all the vegetables, and the herbs, okay? So here's the bounties. This is where you sell the um, Sambi ears. How's the camper's life, Mercer? And it's 528 in total. Of uh, we have uh, nudie ears, which are the little baby ones. Uh, screamer ears, we don't have any, because I don't I don't destroy her. That's Sally B. She's a screamer. <laughs> uh, the breaker ears, those are the real big guys. They're really strong. We have bleacher ears. Okay. Uh, we don't have any choir ears. Uh, running ears, we have eight. We have one rager ear and nine reacher ears. Those are the ones with the hair. So we're going to hold a triangle to sell them all. We have $3,600, $36,000 we went to $4,000. So we just made about $4,000. We went to forty from thirty-six, so we made about $4,000 Okay. There. Okay. Now we're going to go Stay to home, the kitchen right. where you see that smoke coming out of. That's where the kitchen is at. And you see how they have guards Ten everywhere? Minutes, Ten minutes. They have guards up in the tower protecting the camp. You see the guy up there with the flashlight and the rifle? So this is a protected camp. 
you can come live here, but you have to work for your for your food. Okay, this is where you sell the meat in the kitchen area. And we have seven bear, thirty-two cougar, zero crows, zero deer, one hundred and twenty-seven wolves, twenty-eight herbs. Uh, we have six berries and seven mu five mushrooms. So we have forty thousand five. So we're gonna sell all. That's it. So we made about another four thousand dollars. So so far we made eight, almost eight thousand dollars. So that's how you earn your money, right? Now we we're gonna go to the gun shop. Follow the icon on the map. On the map. And it takes you to the ammo supply or gun shop, who is the merchant. Hey, to see you, Deacon. This is where you buy hey, your guns Alcott, and all your supplies. Just what you got. Okay? Each camp has the same. They have a merchant, they have a kitchen, they have a bounty, and they also have a garage where you can buy parts for your motorcycle or gasoline. Okay? So in this case, we're going to press triangle, I mean square. And it shows you the weapons. As you can see, I have them all. I have them all. I don't need any of them. What is this? This is a new one? This is a new weapon. So they have new weapons. I didn't know that. So guess what? We're going to buy them. Should keep you pretty safe out there. Yeah, we're going to buy them all. Nice. Right there. Good piece. These are new weapons, eye guys. Eye you could use a gun like that. You're gonna buy them all. Powerful. Good shot. You'll like this one. That's a good one. Should keep this you pretty probably, safe out there. These are probably upgrades. That right there, good piece. You could use a gun like that. Powerful, good shot. So we have we have forty four thousand. We're down to twenty five. So we already spent twenty thousand. Okay, now here I buy the saddlebag because the saddlebag has all the ammo for all the weapons. Uh, when you don't have the saddlebag, you got to buy them individually. Okay, but since I have the saddlebag. I just buy the saddlebag. Look, my magazine, magazine upgrade. So these are upgrades. Good. Here, good as new. This will do you good out there. Here you go. And we're also gonna buy some med kits. Good choice. They're a hundred bucks each. We can't see the price Can because I get my. Anything else for you? Yeah, we're gonna get two grenades. Oh, I'm full. It says full. My fault. And now we also have the gun locker. We could have our own locker. Okay, so we have basically everything. Here's our locker. Primary weapons. Wow. Look at all the new weapons on the bottom with the underscore, the green line. Those are the new weapons we just bought. But I'm going to stick with my, um, these are new, so I might as well try them. This carry 30 in the magazine, 30 in the magazine, 5 in the magazine, 11 in the magazine. So I'm going to try some of these since they're new. This is called the Stinger. Deacon, you there? Even keel, submachine gun, nothing fancy, but it'll get the job done. Uh, this one is the US 556 with military grade reliability. This weapon is effective from medium to long range. Excuse me. And then sidearms. Look, we got more. Even though I had this one already, it gave me another one. It says unique shotgun and high damage versatility. Okay, we're going to use that one. And then a special. 
We got more. That is crazy. This is the MG55. And these rifles are for hunting. This is the German-made weapon has an extremely high rate of fire. You just kind of can make it difficult to aim, which make, which can make it difficult to aim. So that is not a good weapon, but I'm gonna try it. That's not the most powerful weapon, by the way. I'm gonna Find try it. Need anything else? You gotta rush me, man. I'm trying to explain to you guys what every weapon does. Are you just gonna stand there? Are you just gonna know. stand there? Need else? Yeah, I just spent about what how much money did I spend? Hey, Alka, you need something? Look at that. I have forty-five thousand or forty-four, right? So I spent twenty dollars, twenty-two thousand dollars just now. All right, I see how it is. And he's rushing me. Come back whenever you need something. Okay, see now you. we're going to the garage. We're going to the garage. And in the garage is where the camp leader is at. Hey, what's up? What's up, Melvester? Welcome, my friend. Oh, no, this is the mechanic. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, Zanny, keeping your mechanic. hands clean. Oh, I got some gas here. Okay, gas is $749, and to repair the bike is 81 Okay, bike and we're also going to get gas. Bikes are real good there. Okay, so we're done. Everything's completed. Now right, let's go back to <laughs> our motorcycle. Hey, right here next. Seventy. Now the camp leader, she sits right over here. This is the camp leader, Ada Tucker. She's the one that assigns jobs to you. See, it says no jobs available because I completed everything already. That boy, Ed, H-O-U, how you doing, my friend? Welcome, welcome. The Folelli, welcome. Melvesta, welcome. Uh, thank you for joining us, guys. Melvesta says, Harry, I got 20 kills, gold stands trophy. Excellent, congratulations. That boy Ed, H O U, says salutations, everyone. Very good. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Very nice. Very nice, guys. Guys, don't forget you can use the stickers to make special requests or just to make a donation. You just want to click our stickers to make a dollar donation, two dollars, five dollars, a million dollars, whatever you can donate. I would truly appreciate it. Thank you. All right, so we're going to head out again. Since we don't have anything else to do here. We're gonna, get, we're gonna go back out. Hey dude, you gonna cross or not? Oh my goodness, this dude don't know what he wants to do. Go left, go right. Okay, since I'm close to the camp, I'm gonna try these new weapons out. Okay. Let's try the other one. Okay, and this tubby, we already know what this tubby does. All right, so I'm going to keep those. I could always go to another area and just switch to weapons. I just, there's a lot of places that I already have completed and I own. I have uh, lockers and we have bunkers. Yeah, my friends, I'm going to play this to 12 o'clock today. I used to play it for three hours, but now my daughter started school, so I'm going to play this for two hours, and then I'm going to play Cyberpunk for two hours also. Cyberpunk, I used to play for four hours, but now I'm going to have to cut back. 
because uh, my daughter's in school. I gotta help her with the hallway. Another thing. Nice. Very nice. Very nice. We're gonna save. Get on. Continue. No, no. Ah. That was terrible. It didn't stop in time. Okay, I saw some plants. I'm going to go pick them up. I hear growling. I hear growling. Let's see what that is. Okay, it is. The Reacher. And a bear. Okay, let's see if they fight each other. Yeah, 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 they're fighting, they're fighting. They're fighting. Yeah, get him bear. Get him bear. There you go. Get him bear. Oh, they're fighting. They're fighting. Yeah, the bear's going after him. Uh, but the, the reacher is really, he's really strong and fast. Let me get between me and, and, the, and the bear. go let the bear take him out go ahead I let them fight each other if that's the case I sometimes put me myself between them and the bear and the whatever there you go he killed it he killed the reacher I like those cookies big boy now the bears infected so we can't collect that meat but we'll get the bounty and then the um, Reacher, even though we didn't kill it, we still get credit for it. Or we didn't destroy it, let's say. I'm sorry. Let me check these vehicles for parts. There's an airbag. Something else back here somewhere. Okay, in the police cars, in the trunk, you usually find, if it's closed, you find ammo. Free. Okay, there is a sledgehammer. We don't need it. Oh, ba -bum, ba -bum, ba -bum. Brandon, Harry, what are you having for lunch today? I'm having barbecue chicken and beans and cornbread. Man, that sounds good, man. That's a good lunch. Barbecue chicken, beans, and cornbread. Man. That sounds delicious, Brandon D. Uh, what am I having for lunch? Uh, I think I'm going to have an avocado sandwich on whole wheat bread and a glass of orange juice. 
Yeah, but that sounds good. I don't I don't eat much meat, but it sounds good. When I used to eat meat, that would have been delicious. But I love cornbread and I love beans. Yeah, that sounds delicious. All right, so we're gonna continue. We're gonna press triangle. And we're gonna search this area. Whoa. I guess not. Oh, look at the view. Incredible, right? Beautiful. I'm gonna write that down so I can use that for the thumbnail. Okay, we got, let's do it in two hours. All right, my friends, thank you so much for uh, watching. Thank you so much for subscribing. Thank you for the likes. Uh, remember on Harry's Gameplay channel, there's over 850 live stream games that I've done. Uh, there's multiple playlists from Spider-Man, The Last of Us, Ghost of Tsushima, Crash Bandicoot, WWE2K22, there's Uncharted, uh, and much more. Please check it out. You can watch them anytime, anywhere, any place. Just do me a favor, smash the like button. All right, guys? Thank you so much. Give me about, wow, I don't even think I'm going to have lunch. I probably have 15 minutes. I'm going to eat while I'm trying to set up the, the chat. So, yeah, I'm going to have something quick, guys. I'll be back. Give me about 15 minutes, and I'll be right back, and I will be streaming uh, Cyberpunk 2077. Thank you once again, my friends. You stay safe, stay healthy. Much love to you all, and I'll see you soon. Thank you.